What's up? Huh, I haven't sat here and uh and made a video in a while. It's uh brings back memories, yeah. I uh, like my new uh my maiden shirt that uh my friend got me for Christmas. It's got the somewhere in time that he even says, yeah. I love it. It's badass. Alright, my uh second lyric video. Um this is really like just scratching the surface of what I've been writing lately, but as if you've seen my other lyric video, reading about five songs takes like ten minutes, so um, I'll get right into it here. Uh, I wrote this one um, this year sometime, I think, late 2009, I can't really remember when. Um, but I think it was after reading To Kill a Mockingbird and how that book had a lot about like racism and kind of like, um, you know, you know, uh, and I think that that kind of inspired this for uh, parts of it. Anyway, it goes like this. It goes, this is not the way it should be, like with an exclamation mark that's like kicking off the song. Stop what you're doing and think for a minute. The longest you've ever thought about anything. When was the last time a decision you made didn't coincide with your own beliefs? That's kind of clumsy, I guess, I sh if you read it right. Um, this world should not be dictated by the opinions of a few. Reason makes the most for everyone if it means a little less for you, even if it means a little less for you. I don't want to believe in the limits of reason, and ignorance is a year-round season, and it's colder than winter will ever be. You're all deaf to the voice of reason. You can't hear it whisper, can't hear it screaming. This is not the way it should be. And then uh, a <clears throat> little ending part is like someone saying to whoever says that last part would be like, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Why is my voice so shaky? <clears throat> that's just the shit that we've got to deal with. I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's just the shit we've got to deal with. And, uh, and then those last two bits would be like the chorus. This, this world should not be dictated by the opinions of a few. Reason makes the most for everyone if it means a little less for you. I like that one. Alright, hang on. Just Someone told me I should put a mirror behind the camera so I can see you at the time. I don't have a... That's... Yeah, just... Uh, Alright, this one is... Uh, it's a rough draft. Um, it's about the power of your mind and how the mind is really what does everything. And without, without it, we wouldn't have anything. <laughs> it goes like... Don't underestimate the power of your mind. Kind of an obvious line there. For it was the minds of your kind that created the concept of time. Maybe I should change it to, for it was the minds of your kind that created time. That would sound cooler. Without your mind, you wouldn't exist. You would just be a lifeless waste of skin. There is no you, only the messages the brain sends to the rest of your body and the features on your face. The emotions your brain causes you to feel, the languages your brain teaches you to speak, the things your brain tells you to build, and the things your brain tells you to kill. And with all the brains telling their bodies to reproduce, new brains form every day. Our skin and organs are now enslaved. That's pretty cool, yeah. I like that one. They're not really songs so much as free verse poems, really. Um, yeah. <laughs> A lot of influence, actually, from uh, Born of Osiris and Veil of Maya lyrics. They kind of read like that, too. So I don't really, like, write a song thinking, like, all right, this has got to follow this pattern. I just kind of write it like a poem, you know? So they're pretty much poems, really. Uh, hang on. Uh, all right, this one um, is kind of like if, it, if I ever... Uh, if me and my like friends ever made it into a song, uh, it'd be like one of those kind of long, epic kind of things. And uh, so, yeah, it um, goes like this. We don't like to think the human race will last forever, but it, like all things, will die. The truth is all around us, eternal death from here to beyond the sky. Look farther forward, long after the apocalypse. What will be taking up the space when existence collapses on itself? When there's nothing left and no one left to discover what was, and when the billions of galaxies cease to exist, what happens next? Could there be eternal darkness with all life crammed into a speck the size of an atom? Forever. No hope. 
because there's nothing left to have hope for. Could the area surrounding the speck have no time to be measured? Could the area surrounding the speck have no space to be taken up forever? And then it, like, that would be where it gets all kind of dark, and then it gets, like, boom, like, really big and epic and stuff. Could there be a rebirth, the glorious return of a race that tries to dominate everything in his hands? We have a planet in our grasp. A rebirth. Existence starting over again, a blinding flash of spontaneous and unintentional creation, uh, the beginning of an endless cycle, and then, you know, uh, over and over and over again, but what will happen when the cycle ends, if the cycle ends, <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, kind of annoying. <laughs> um, alright, this is a cool one. Um, also a very rough draft, but it's based on Lord of the Flies, which, uh, I had read before, we read it in school this year, but this year we really examined, uh, the symbolism in it, really, like, deeply, and I got a lot out of it, and I really, really liked what it was trying to, or what it got across very well. Um, Mankind's Essential Illness. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of just, like, a poem with the stanzas, kind of, like, a lot of the time really out of order, um, but also kind of a long, I'm not even done with it yet, I don't think. Anyway, it goes like this. Um, Stranded at the dawn of war, forced to fend for ourselves, cut off from the rest of the world in the middle of nowhere. On the shoreline, staring out to the endless ocean, the waters surrounding us. I found order, a structured society. They're ever so expensive and so hard to find. Blow the conch. So I think that's kind of cool because it's like the conch in the book kind of represented like a structured society because that's what he used to like call the meetings, you know? So he's like, I found order in a structured society. They're so hard to find, just like conches, you know? So I, I think that's really cool. In order to survive, we need to stay organized. Everyone here wants to get rescued, right? If you read the book, you'll, you'll kind of get this a little bit more. Uh, we need a leader, someone to guide us, someone to light the way. We need order, laws to abide by, though all order fades away. Our nature is to blame. Everyone here surely knows our fate if we don't get our priorities straight. Fire. Start a fire on the mountain, send the smoke to the skies. Fire, start a fire on the mountain, or we'll all surely die here. For the sake of our lives, don't let it out. Don't let the fire out. And uh, I put later, like in the margin next to this, this is a reference to Piggy. Uh, the voice of logic and reason silenced. Funny how the one with the broken glasses is the only one that sees. Um... As soon as there was an opposition to our chief, people began, people began to say they saw a beast. The beast. And then I quote the book, Simon became inarticulate in his effort to express mankind's essential illness. And then that kind of goes into like this sick, like brutal breakdown where you go kill the pig, bash him in, spill his blood. Um, hang on. Uh, and then this last part here I wrote, um, well actually, no, this comes after that. It goes, paint your faces, sharpen your spears, hide your logic and hide your fear. We become one behind the paint, kill everything in sight, show no restraint. Um, and then this, the beast is tearing us apart. Those who said it didn't exist, they lied. And not the beast with fangs and claws, but the beast inside. We've put up a wall reason cannot tear down, stranded on an island rationality cannot find. But we saw it out in the distance, not a shadow of doubt. Uh, it probably would have got here if we didn't let the fire out. Reason would have got us all out of this mess. Reason would have taken us home. But I'm, 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 I think that's going to turn out really well once I, uh, I kind of edit it a little bit. Um, all right, this got pretty long, so uh, I'll probably be making more of these. Uh, thanks for watching.